another Minecraft Skyblock video. Now, if you don't remember where we left off last time, we did a lot of stuff. We got some new minions, and then we got to smelting for some armor. And now said armor is ready for crafting. So, there we go. So, and there we go. Da, 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 da. So now, the difference of having armor is A, you have more defense, and B, sometimes you can get more health. Okay, so I'm gonna claim stuff in my minions. Alright, bam. And bam. Now I don't I haven't unlocked this place yet, but there's a place called the Bazaar. And the Bazaar is back here. But I am not a high enough level. To get it, so I have to sell to them. No, okay. And these people give you a lot less money. So for today's episode, I'm gonna be grinding to get the bazaar. So what I'm gonna work? Well, I'm not gonna grind again. I'm just gonna try and get it. So I'm gonna start. Oh, I'm gonna start by doing farming. Thankfully, we don't need combat, so that's helpful. Now I'm gonna save the coins in my purse, cause. You know, because I'm actually going to do mining first, and if I go to the gold mine, then there's a person there that adds telekinesis to your stuff, and it costs money, but what telekinesis does is, let's say I'm mining coal, see how it drops on the ground? With telekinesis, it goes directly to your inventory, so no one can steal it. So that's very useful. Now, the person who gives you telekinesis, he is called Rusty, and he's right here. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, so for 100 coins, he gives you telekinesis. So I'm going to do that on all my stuff. So no one can steal anything. And bam. So before when I mined something, it would fall on the ground and other people could grab it. Now it goes directly to my inventory. So to get the bazaar, we need level 7 forging, mining, and farming. So right now I just leveled up to level 3 in mining. So right now, I'm going to just mine a bit. And I'm not really sure what I'll do with all the ores. I'll probably just sell them for money. <laughs> all right, there we go. Now the nice thing about skill leveling up is they all give you almost like a boost so if I do if I do forging, then uh, I get extra strength. If I do farming, I get extra health. If I do fishing, I get extra health. If I do mining, um, I forget. It will show once I level up. 
which will be very soon. Okay, so it gives you defense. And also they give you, a ch everything gives you a chance to get double of something. Because, like, with fishing, it gives you a b bigger chance to catch sea creatures. With farming, bigger chance for double crops. With mining, bigger chance for double ores. With forging, bigger chance for double logs. Now, I'm tempted to go... You know, I won't. I won't. I'm kind of tempted to um, go on to my other account and transfer a very good axe onto this account, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to do it the old way. Man, I wish I had a better efficiency pickaxe, but I will get it once I break more blocks. So that's the nice thing about promising things. They're good for new people because Oh, call minion. <laughs> Might craft that. They're good for new people because they give you free efficiency since efficiency books cost money. Not much, but it's just nice to not have to also get the. Well, no, actually. It would be. It probably would be easier to just um, do it yourself, but. Like, buy the books. But. Now this guy has a pickaxe called Stonk, and it has the highest efficiency in the game, efficiency 6, but it costs 500,000 coins. But I'm pretty sure a good strat for having Stonk is to just mine cobblestone. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I don't actually have um, Stonk on my real account. But <laughs> probably should try and get it. Now I'm almost so I think level six with mining. If it's level five, then um, oof on me. All right, let's see. Wait, why didn't I level up? Okay, didn't have enough XP. Alright, so that's level... Oh, I think that's 5. This is 5. But now, I have access to the Deep Caverns. And what the Deep Caverns does, if you go there, they have a bunch of extra stuff. And what you can do with said extra stuff I mean, not extra stuff, but you can get things like diamonds and um, emeralds and all that. The only problem is each floor has a monster. So the lapis floor has lapis zombies and all that. So there's a little trick here. So to unlock every zone without having to go through them all, you go here. And just jump and you'll unlock everything. Like, look. For some reason I didn't get the, um, obsidian place. But I can just go there and time this. Okay, right, and gun time. Now, I think, since I don't have very good armor and a sword, um, I'm gonna go... Oh god, sneaky creeper. Um, ah, so he's not letting me do it since I haven't gone down to the lapis quarry, even though I unlocked it by doing the trick. So I'm gonna have to go and do that. First, I just wanna grab a few extra things. Here. There we go. Oh, creeper. Okay, that scared me. That really scared me. Alright, now. Should be nearby. I 
to get the way because I always use the the lift. So a little, <laughs> I wouldn't say clueless, but I'm a little <coughs> in the in the dark. All right, here it is. So the reason I went here is because the lapis gives you more XP. Problem is there are lapis zombies. So, yeah. See, those are lapis zombies. And since I have a pretty bad sword, it doesn't do much damage. And you might be saying, hey, you can four, you can five to four hit them. Yes, but um usually you want to be able to two hit them and also did you see how much damage they just did to me it's like half my health this is why i really wanted armor i just have to be on the run kind of oh god i really hope they can't get up here but the thing about lapis zombies, I think it's a 1% chance for them to draw a piece of lapis armor. And lapis armor is pretty good for early game. It's actually really good for early game. So once I get a better sword and better armor, I'm gonna go here. I'll, I'll probably do it off camera since it's gonna take a while. But I'll just do that. Alright. Now this is probably kind of boring. So when I level up to level 6, I'm gonna do farming. And something, let's say interesting, happens at the farm. I'm probably not going to make a lapis minion because you really need compactors for that or they just fill up their storage in like 5 minutes. And what compactors do, they turn stuff into their block form. And since lapis you get like 8 of it every time you mine 1 ore. The lapis minion storage, if it's a low level, fills up insanely fast. So this is um, a runic lapis zombie, and see I just leveled up in rune crafting. What rune crafting is, I can apply it to tools, and from the lapis zombie I got a rune. So if I had level 3 in rune crafting and a bow, I could apply it to my bow. But since I don't have either, I just can either throw it away or save it. I could try and sell it, but no one really sells runes unless it's like a level 20 rune. Also the cool thing about rune crafting is most skills, well all skills I think, have um, you have to be level 50 to map. They all have 50 levels. Room crafting only has 25, so that's a nice way to like bump up your overall skill level. Alright, go. Now I should almost be done with my. Let's, you know, I'm just gonna warp out, go back here, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a coal minion, I think. Yeah, I'm going to make a coal minion. So what I'll need for that is cobblestone, which I have. And 16 more? Um, yeah, 16 more uh, coal. Alright, I'm just going to throw my stuff in here. Now I only need 
25 to build the platform. Alright. Oh, I guess I never claimed this guy. I already filled it. Well, I guess carrot minions and potato minions also fill up pretty easy. Alright, so what I'll Oh, and also, if you see all the Christmas stuff, this happens, I think, every five days. And what it is, it's a Christmas event, even though, for me, it's not Christmas. But in seven hours, there's going to be a place opening up called Jerry's Workshop. And at Jerry's Workshop, you can get presents and A, give them to people and get like XP and stuff like that, or B, sell them, which I usually do, because on the bazaar, the regular gifts sell for like $8,000, and if you get 20, you can get 20 if you don't do the waves, well, there are waves and like monsters trying to attack the present, so you have to stop them, it's a little odd, but and um, you can get 20 by default and if and if you do the waves you can get extras and there's a cool minion by the way if you um so you can get extras and if you can also get different types of gifts like green and red gifts and the red gifts sell for so much it's really insane and the thing is to do the waves you don't actually need a lot of um wait a minute it's open right now oh let's go so i didn't know it was open before the event so we're in jerry's workshop so you collect these presents, and if you talk to our pal Frosty, he will give you a little thing called uh, Frosty the Snow Cannon. <laughs> and what that does is once the monsters attack, you can use that to extinguish them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell these presents, but since I don't have the bizarre unlocked yet, and that's where I can get them, sell them for the best price. I'm gonna save them. Pro hopefully, I might do a wave on this account. I'm probably gonna do them all on my main. But, yeah. Um. So, right now, I'll collect all the presents. Now, I could turn this into, like, a how to find all presents um, in Jerry's workshop kind of video but I don't know where they all are and they kind of fluctuate sometimes because like once I was watching a video to find like the last two of them and it was in theirs and their presents were in a totally different spot than where I found all of mine so, okay. now right now I only have 8 gifts, and there are 20 that I can get before the waves, but these 8 gifts, they will literally give me like, no, these 9 gifts, they will literally give me like $50,000, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> now, this isn't gonna become a tutorial on how to find all the presents, but I do have a tip. They all spawn in like the little, I'm pretty sure they all spawn in the village area. So you want to look on top of the houses and inside them, and especially on the streets. Now usually there's one in here, but okay. Wow, there's two back there. I could get like $100,000 from selling these. As long as the prices don't go, as long as the prices don't drop, 
Look at that. There's, there are three on the bank. It's really good. Okay, um, now, on my main account, I have something called a grappling hook. And that's really helpful because it's it can help you get up to places like this. And there's also a sword that, two swords that you can leap up with. But I don't have either since this is a new account. Well, yeah, relatively new account. So I don't have those. And I really wish I did. Now, if you get all 20 presents, then you can go to St. Jerry and he will give you a green present. So first you just have to activate him. See, I can't get that present because I don't have a grappling hook. And it's just up there, haunting me. Um, I could try and buy a grappling hook. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna see if I can get a grappling hook. If I can. If someone's selling it for really a really cheap amount, then we'll be. I bet a lot of people are looking for them right now. Let's see, lowest bid to bin. Okay. If I have enough, I'm I don't have much money. So I'll probably go off yeah. I'm probably gonna go off camera and get one. So I think that's where I'm gonna end this video. I'm gonna go off camera after this and unlock the bazaar. But I'll, I'll wait till next video to sell the presents. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.